Welcome to Buy, Hold, Sell. My name is Matthew Kidman and today we are talking about retail, a sector that has done it quite tough over the last little bit. And of course, lurking out there, we hear about it every day, is the arrival of Amazon onshore, the big shark coming in. And to discuss retail, I've got Simon Shields from Monash and Dean Fergie from Cyan. Right. Welcome. Dean, I'll start with you. Yep. We know Amazon's coming and coming on shore at least, another level. Yeah. What are the three sectors that should be really worried about Amazon arriving? Well, definitely online, retail. I think they've had a really kind of challenging uh, time, the Australian retailers. So they're really a worry. Anyone that's doing sort of fast moving, uh, small price deliverable goods should be in for like a real challenge, I would think. Okay, Simon. Amazon, they've, they've taken on uh, retailers all around the world. Australia's one of the last bastions, and they tend to do it with price and delivery. What do you expect margins to do in the, in the key areas that they target? Well, margins definitely will fall. Um, you know, you know in Amazon, in their retailing experience, they're not really... Well, over the course of time, they really haven't been out to make a big profit in retail. They've just been out to go out and dominate the sector so that one day they can make a big, big profit. So, um, you know, I think particularly anybody that's but doesn't have their own brand mm-hmm. is at risk. And we've had online for a while. We've got Kogan listed, we've had a few others. Mm-hmm. Uh, retailers themselves have been online. Mm-hmm. Why is Amazon different and how will it, be, will, will it change the landscape? I think Amazon's different because it's got a very big brand presence already in Australia and globally. And people know that they can get a vast range of things from Amazon. When it comes to Australia, and I was just reading about in the paper just recently, it's not just going to be in you know, the typical online goods that you see, but eventually it'll also be in groceries and, and things that need to be delivered on very short time frames. And so that will change the dynamic as it has to some extent in the United States and Europe already. And bigger pockets than other, other online players in the past. Absolutely. Well, that's, that's what it's all about. It's about going in and trying to dominate the sector. So do, do we stay away from retail altogether? We've seen in the US and the UK stocks trade on very low multiples. Yeah. Uh, is that the case here? And, uh, and what are some of the stocks that might avoid Amazon's wrath? Yeah, look, retail's definitely not dead in Australia. You've seen a lot of the uh, manufacturer, um, the furniture manufacturers do really well. These sort of bigger kind of goods that people want to touch and feel and you know, won't necessarily get delivered are, um, are, you know, are still doing pretty well. But anything that's commoditised, that wants to, you know, that's fast moving, deliverable, um, and that can be price matched, I think are in for a really tough time because all this is done on margins. So what, what's a sector or even a stock that you think will escape it? Well, I think Nick Scarley is doing terribly well. Uh, JB Hi-Fi, whilst the electronics are an issue with the good guys acquisition, all those you know, sort of white goods, I think, are going to be reasonably defensive and not impacted too much by Amazon. OK, Simon, give us a couple of stocks you would not go near given the arrival of Amazon. Well, I think, you know, anybody that's using other people's brands, like the department stores generally are, you can just see we're having department stores go bankrupt in the United States yep. at the moment. So I think, Maya, you want to stay well away from for example. Um, Even though Premier's come in to buy some of my house. <laughs> well, look, yeah. And, and as, as you mentioned before, you know, low multiples, well, the stocks are already on historically low-ish multiples right now. They're, they're typically not even teen multiples, but just the very low double digits, the, the so tens the and eleven. already here, you think? To some extent, but we haven't seen the impact yet in the earnings, and they've been struggling as it is. So Amazon's on its way. It's going to cause disruption, but there are some areas where you can still make money. 